Hi, I'm Larry Cole with the Dealer Institute. And today we're gonna to do something just a little bit different. We are actually going to start a series of five videos and this is the first one. These, our focus is gonna be the social styles that I'm gonna talk about in just a minute. Today I'm gonna to give you an overview of all the styles and then we will subsequent, in subsequent videos, we will go into each style and talk about how each of them can manage stress. But if you take a look at this, you can see that we've got two psychological dimensions on this, on this graph. Up here on the top, we got the word assertiveness. So you see I'm going from low to high. And the higher you are on the assertiveness scale, that means the more energy you have, uh, the more willing we are to tell people what we think or what we, or, 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 or our thoughts. If you take a look over here on the left-hand side, we got the word people. And again, low, from low to high, the higher we have, the more willing we are to take into consideration what other people think and what other people say. So let's take a look at that. Let's start with driver first. You see the driver's upper right hand corner is high on assertiveness, lower on people. Which means that these people are emotional support systems, they want to get things done. They want things done now. They are also very interested in factual information. They're not interested in what you think or how you feel. They want to know numbers and facts. They like to make the decision. They like to take control. Uh, they are sometimes referred to as my way thinkers. That's their theme song is my way. If I come down to the lower right hand corner, we see the word expressive. You can see that we're high on both of these dimensions out over here. Being high on both dimensions, you swear to God, they're perfect people, wouldn't you? Well, sometimes there are expressives who think that. All right, but now we have somebody who's just full of energy. They too like to get things done, but they like the attention associated with getting things done. And they've got a great sense of humor. Sometimes they use that sense of humor to pull attention to themselves. Uh, but they are impulsive, changeable. They're very friendly, they're extroverted, they've never met a stranger. So sometimes people think of this as the typical sales personality. But now if I go over here to the left hand side, we've got the word amiable. Amiables are very, you can see that high on people, they're very people oriented. The most important thing for them are relationships with the family, their friends, all right? Uh, they like to show people pictures of their family and friends. They like to talk about their family and friends. They want to talk about feelings. They want to share feelings. They want you to talk about the, your feelings. They're a little more laid back as a result of being lower on assertiveness, and, uh, they're, but they're great enablers. They like to help people. Now, if we come up here to the upper left-hand corner, we have the word analytical. Analytical, as you can see, are low on both dimensions. You swear, we wonder whether or not these people are dead or alive, but they're very much alive. They just have different blood operating in their, in their veins. These people operate on the system. They want everything to be perfect. They want everything correct, all right? They'll dot every I. They will cross every T. They need time to study that information so they don't process that information very fast. They're generally a little more laid back like our amiable friends, okay? So, now the question becomes, you know, how do, um, how do we handle stress? We're going to look in subsequent videos. We'll start with the word driver, and I'm going to go in and show you a little more about how to handle that. But first, let me just give you something that all the styles have to do. And it's kind of a, a summary of what we've talked about before. Whenever our stress button gets pushed, we have to immediately become aware of that. Okay? We have to think about what our body's telling us, what our thoughts are telling us. We have to believe that we can act calmly, that we do not have to get out of control or be in control by our external environments. We may even need something to, to help us to do that. Larry, stop and think. Do you want to make a good choice or a bad choice? A good choice obviously would be that we're going to manage our stress to more effectively manage the, the relationships. The bad choice might be just to let everything go and regardless of the impact upon a, other, other people. We have to talk to ourselves, use that internal channel chatter we have to talk to ourselves and tell ourselves that we can to stay in control and I can I can control the situation I can find ways to make the situation work look at the tips that I did in the first video that uh, there were I gave you seven tips to, to, just to look at you might want to go back and review those you know doing this is just psychological muscles and the only way that we strengthen our muscles is through practice so I'm going to ask you to practice this information as we go through it in closing, you might want to go to Google and Google social styles. And you can also take an assessment online so you can learn more about yourself. Therefore, you can also learn more about other people. All right, I want to thank you for watching this video. And the next time we're together, we're going to talk about drivers.